Um, I think it, it's really difficult to be the last person here because these guys have already shared all the wisdom and knowledge that they had and I'm left to sort of reiterate the things that they've said, which in a way might work in my favor because if I reiterate something, maybe that's important so it sinks in. So who knows? Let's see. Um, so um, when I graduated in 2012, I was already in a job at Ipsos Mori, uh, one of the largest research companies in the country. They do telephone interviews, you know, surveys with the public. And I've been interviewing for them for a number of years as a student job. Um, when I graduated, I got promoted to a supervisor. And I thought to myself, is this really something I want to do or is it not something that I want to do? Well, not really, but at the same time, I'm getting promoted. This is going to look amazing on the CV, so just go for it. Plus, think about the skills that you can pick up in a managerial role, because I was effectively managing other people, um, just like it was said before, people much older than me. So I thought, yeah, definitely, go for it. Even if you don't like it, give it a try. Um, and that was a really good decision, because obviously it really helped me get a job later on down the line. Um, <coughs> so when I graduated, much like some of you have expressed, I had no idea what I wanted to do and I just want to reiterate that as well. It's not a problem at all because you'll find, you'll, you'll find your calling at one point. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't stress too much, but obviously give it some thought. Um, something that has not been mentioned before and I really wanted to like, um, sort of say this to you guys, the career service is excellent. In case you don't know, they are available for you to use for two years after graduation, which was key in my case because I sort of went along to some of their events as I was a student but really didn't pay much attention. When I was sort of really in trouble of finding my true calling, I was like, career service, please help. <laughs> um, and they really came through for me. So um, I'm, really, I'm really grateful. So make sure you sort of go along and try to you know, get the help that you can get from them. So uh, when I got really bored with my Ipsos Mori call center manager job, um, I was trying to find an actual graduate job. Now, in a way, being employed whilst you're trying to find another job is both good and bad. It's good because there are no gaps, there's nothing to explain. Look, oh, I was promoted, I was doing good stuff, hey. But at the same time, it's really difficult to muster that sort of enthusiasm that you'll need for the applications. Well, I have a job, it pays for the bills. Difficult situation. So it took me over a year to sort of, sort of you know, climb back out of that little hole that I dug myself into. But eventually I managed, with the help of the career service, and I finally got an actual graduate job. I was accepted on a graduate scheme at a company called Soprasteria, which is uh, an IT consultancy, basically. So I currently work as a business intelligence um, consultant in the financial services sector. I actually do more business analysis things these days, but I was originally hired to do um, business intelligence. Um, so actually, I was going to say to you, one thing that really helped me from university in my current job is going along to meetings where people say, oh, actually, good example. Right now, I'm helping the company set up new banks. We're just in the process of setting up a Russian bank. It's amazing. I sit in workshops with the managing director of that bank. I probably don't need to tell you how much of his knowledge goes like that. But my experience at university, going to lectures where much smarter people are talking to you or at you or however you want to put it, going to other meetings, talking to other people who are much smarter than you, it really prepared me for you know, pulling off an intellectual face and thinking, yeah, oh, no, I get that, <laughs> I'm with you. So um, that really helped. Um, as far as sort of an advice for you guys that I would say is diversify. So sort of think of your CV as a portfolio. I don't know if that even makes sense, but <laughs> if you've ever spoken to an investment uh, person, they will always tell you diversify. That's what I think of in terms of the CV. The more skills, the more knowledge you have acquired in your you know, few years that you've had, uh, the better off you'll be finding a job. Uh, I always say getting a first for the sake of getting a first doesn't really make much sense. So I decided personally, I don't know if that works for you guys, I decided I'm not going for a first, I'm going for a 2-1, that's still good enough, but I'm going to do all these things on the side and my CV is going to be that big and it's going to be amazing. And I think that actually worked out for me quite well because in consulting actually, they're not really looking for people with specific skills. They're looking for, you know, um, a range of skills because they'll give you the IT, techy skills. In fact, there's not too many people with IT degrees who are my colleagues, and yet we are doing IT stuff. 
That's because they're more than willing to pay for the courses that you go and you know, pick up the ISIS skills at. It's more about the interpersonal skills and all the others that you've picked up at university, at your courses, in meetings, doing presentations, whatever it is, you name it. They're not looking for the coders. That's a different kind of job. So if you're looking to go into consulting, that is definitely the best advice I can give you. But then again, five minutes is not quite enough to give you uh, insight into that. So uh, feel free to uh, come and grab me afterwards. Thank you. Mm -hmm.